for years now I have been trying to bring music in the visual arts field and bring music in museums and galleries. Um, and that's always a challenge because of the architecture, which is very resonant and not very good for music. From the very beginning, Xavier uh, wanted uh, to recreate something that resembled um, a Merzbau, uh, Kurt Schwitter's uh, uh, architecture. It was destroyed during Second World War, so only photographs remain. But we can imagine how the sound in that Merzbau must have been um, uh, soft and non-resonating. There's two different rooms, one with a, a more resonant space and, and another one uh, with a more muffled sound. So here we're, we're in this kind of um, perfect recording with a great sound equipment and the artists are invited to come and work. Here they're performing for themselves and for the recording. So you're witnessing music in the making uh, and that was the idea of, of Xavier, you know, to, to make that public. That's part of the project, is to make uh, this creative process visible uh, to, the, to a general audience. Being a curator is, is interesting. It's just being on the other side. I tend to work as a curator in my own work because I'm always um, collaging, taking things from different parts and putting them together. Uh, in music, by DJing, uh, mixing records from different sources, uh, with my visual collages or with my videos, I, I, I'm curating. So I don't feel so uncomfortable with that. This was an interesting project and I, I helped Xavier find you know, musicians that he would normally, he would not know or uh, not necessarily be interested in and I try to bring a lot of my usual collaborators, people who I improvise with, the more experimental uh, improvising musicians. Here it's more of a collage of, of people. Uh, it's, it's a social experiment in a way. This week it's a press opening, there's so many people in Venice coming and so the studio is full of people and it's a bit difficult for the musicians. But, uh, you know, next week it's going to be much slower and I think people will spend time here uh, and to see how things work. And frankly, we don't know what's going to happen here. And that's, that's the exciting part. Um, it's not like a pavilion where you, you bring in a finished object and that's it. It's a statement. This is more of a, an experiment. Well, it, it's interesting that you bring up the clock, which was presented here because there's some kind of similarities between uh, the two works because of the audience. The audience is the um, the audience is participating and they're participating uh, through uh, you know witnessing and maybe even influencing the, uh, the results. Uh, with the clock you are um, constantly aware of what time it is. It is about the present. It's, it's about the experience. Even though the work is finished, every day is a different day for you, for you, the viewer. It's a very different experience. Again, as here, you're not going to a concert. You don't know who's going to play. It's not about a beginning. It starts at 8 for an hour, two hours, and then you leave. No, this is about the moment experiencing something that's happening right now.